What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I still love car audio and car audio tech stuff. Today, I want to talk about tuning. Um, well, actually, I just want to show you guys what it's like with and without a tune. And I'm not saying that you have to go full on DSP. I mean, DSP is always great, always better than a regular EQ or a regular crossover, external crossover, electronic crossover. But I wanted to, I wanted you guys to hear how my system would sound without a tune, without a DSP, and how it would sound with a tune with the DSP. Um, of course, I'm not going to share my tuning presets or my tuning curve. And it's not that I'm trying to be secretive and hide anything from you guys. It's because every car is different. I've explained that before. You know, not everybody's going active. Not everybody's using Morel um, speakers that I am. It might be different series Morel speakers. And um, my tuning might affect your Morel speakers differently if you had different Morel speakers than me. Or if you had a, a, another brand altogether, I don't want to share my tuning presets um, or my tuning curves rather because it could totally destroy your sound and then you'd be mad at me trying to beat me up and stuff you know it's like man i don't need that <laughs> you know i just want to share my love for the music and enjoy my good music and all that I, I mean i'm 29 years in the game of car audio off and on but more on than off you know i love this stuff and i want to share it with you guys and by the fact that you guys keep coming back to the channel you love it just as much as i do so anyway we're just gonna go ahead and jump into it enough of me talking i'm gonna play a song it's youtube drm free music you know they've been hitting me with these copyright strikes it's a nightmare you know they even tried to copyright strike me on drm free music it's like yo what is going on here somebody's trying to pirate youtube drm free music and just they're just throwing out copyright strikes on everybody but anyway i'm gonna play a quick song uh youtube drm free music let you hear it with the EQ, uh, DSP, everything flat, factory, default settings, no tune whatsoever. Then, of course, I'm going to play the exact same song with my tune, and then you can hear the difference. I mean, you might like it without my tune. That'll be embarrassing. <laughs> That'll suck, man. If, if you liked it more than my tune, I would end this channel altogether, and I'd just retire for good this time. But anyway, here we go. All right, you guys, it's another day, as you can see by the uh, change in my clothing. I had some other stuff to do, but I did want to get this video out for you guys. Um, First and foremost, most importantly, extremely important. This is an extremely important disclaimer. If you guys decide to do something like this yourselves, please, I implore you, I beg you, turn your volume levels down almost to zero because when you set your DSP, your levels are going to change your output levels. All that's going to change to be better for your system. It's like setting the gain on your amplifier. When you set your DSP to default, it defaults to zero. Zero dB is pretty loud in most instances. So if you go from your DSP presets or EQ crossover, any type of presets, and then you switch them to default flat at the same volume, it's going to be most likely extremely loud. If you look at my footage here, this B footage, normally when I play my system, my head unit, Pioneer head unit, basic head unit goes all the way up to maximum volume 40. I don't push it any anything further than 33, maybe 34, usually when I'm given like a full blown demo because I don't want to clip the signal. I don't want to push it that high. Plus, it's important that if you have a good song that you like and it's recorded poorly, if you set your head unit to maximum and you play a poorly recorded song at full volume, it's not going to sound necessarily loud because it's recorded poorly. But by me cutting it off at 33 34 it gives me that much more headroom just to move up a little bit uh, to bring some more volume into that song but more importantly it's about clipping but anyway if you do this if you do this test for yourself just to see make sure you turn your volume down very low first and walk it up in this demo when i played it with just a default setting the maximum volume i would take my speakers comfortably to is 15 16 that's half of what I normally play it at full blast when I'm doing my full on demos with my DSP tune, but flat, no more than 15 or 16. It's pushing the speakers further than I'm comfortable with, especially at this price point, 
even if it wasn't at this price point. I don't want to blow my speakers just for the sake of demo purposes. You know what I mean? So please, with that being said, let's get to it. So most of this is going to be B footage. I know you guys don't like looking at my mug. Whatever, man. <laughs> anyway, um, most of this is just going to be B footage just showing you you know, this is YouTube DRM free music. I found a pretty decently recorded song, pretty good vocals. Um, but at default settings, flat, and you see my head unit is set to flat. I play everything through a FIO M11S DAP, digital audio player. I think that's what it's considered, DAP, DA audio player or whatever. But, you know, similar to an iPod or um, iPad or, you know, any type of player. Anyway, I play that through the auxiliary cord into my head unit and then to my DSP. DSP process every, processes everything, and there you go. Uh, my head unit is always set to flat because I don't want any EQ settings in my head unit to affect my DSP settings, and my amplifiers are all set to full range. All the processing is done through my DSP, and my system is active. So when I turn my DSP off, this is what the speakers sound like, factory fresh, flat no processing whatsoever to me sounds like exactly right <laughs> it sounds like that but um i mean you know for people who don't know it may sound fairly decent but it's left right stereo for the most part and once you've had a taste of time aligned music left right stereo just does not cut it it's not complete 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 trash but it's about 99 percent trash then I'm going to play some, well, I'll play the demo right now of just my EQ and everything, DSP, everything set to flat, default settings. And I'll show you that on my DSP to show you that everything is flat. Again, of course, I will not show you my DSP tune because of reasons I explained. I don't want my tune to affect your tune and make your tune worse, maybe make it better. I don't know, but I'm not willing to risk that and I don't want you to risk that. So anyway, here's some footage of this song playing flat all the way across the board. This is without any DSP processing. And now for the big reveal. This is the big test, man. I already know the results, you know what I mean? And I'm satisfied with the results, but it's more important to me how you guys feel about it. So here's the demo with my DSP tune. Nice, I am by your side. 
all right, man, be honest with me. What did you think? I used my uh, Zoom audio recorder right here. So I had it in the same uh, same position that I always have it in, same settings. Did you like my tune better? If you did, this channel will continue. We'll continue doing our thing, sharing knowledge and sharing videos with each other and all that good stuff. If not, peace, man. I will absolutely retire this channel and you will never hear from me again. I'll put a stick of dynamite in my car, roll it off a cliff, blow it up, and I'll never tell anybody ever again that I had anything to do with car audio. <laughs> so um, if you didn't like my system, hey, tell me. I'll do what I can to make improvements. If you did like it, I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, definitely, absolutely stay tuned.